Hello to the people, my name is, uh, actually I'm too excited to even go through the, let's just skip this intro and let's jump in. So this is the tool, I just entered some keywords here like basketball player in Van Gogh style. Now you can see that these are the results. You see there's some dudes in 1800s, I guess. I'm not sure why I did that. I thought it would be the modern way of uh, showing basketball players. But anyway, check it out. So all of them are kind of cool, but what happened here? Look at this butt. <laughs> Look at this basketball uh, backboard. <laughs> it's huge. And also, <laughs> why is the basket so low? It's like waist high. It's useless. But this is the cool thing is AI doesn't know it's wrong, but to us, it just looks amusing. So let me show you how to use this text to image AI tool. Just go to the description of this video and click on the first link. And this is the tool we'll be using. It's called DALI, which is an AI research and deployment company. Their mission is to ensure that AI benefits all of humanity. By the way, I'm not supported by them in any way. I just think it's a very cool tool. So first of all, we need to create an account here and just log in. One thing to know, you do need to enter your phone number. I think they require it just so that it's a bit more or less spammy and it's like in beta version. So I think they want to keep it to real people. So enter your details. So once you confirm your email address and your phone number, you land on this page. And this is basically your homepage when you sign in. And first of all, I just want to show you that there's these credits. Right now you get 50 credits and that's for every month. Right now I've already used up 39 of them. So I have 11 left. You can always buy more. They're quite reasonably priced. Anyway, 50 is more than enough to test it out. So for example, if you don't know what to do, let's just uh, click on the surprise me and it will just generate some stuff here. So let's click on generate. You can see that it already gives here some uh, the tips, what you can search for and what kind of images it shows. So what we search for here is an armchair in the shape of avocado. So these are not very creative. So in this case, it didn't, didn't generate anything cool, but let's go back to the homepage and let me grab some cooler stuff. So for example, let's do this. So something that you could actually use on your website or something like that. So it can also generate something that is usable, not just abstract stuff, but actually usable. So here I have old spiritual forest with golden key in the middle. So for example, if you're talking about some sort of a aha moment or maybe that one thing that makes you better in something, you can add images like this. So for example, if I like this key or I like this setup, I can click on it and now I can just download it or I can also click on variations and this will just use this image as the base and then it will generate more uh, variations to that. All right, so you see this is the original and there's just a couple different ways of uh, showing the key. So the key itself is slightly different, the pads behind it, they're a bit different. So let's uh, try another one. So something with pixel art. So for example, man jumping over lava with potato gun in New York, pixel art. So that's what I'm looking for right now. And it's generating some stuff. And once it's done, you can see that these are the pixel arts. Now, to be honest, when I was testing this, it gave me a bit different results, which is cool. That means it doesn't generate it every time the same way. For example, so now if I like this one, I could click on this and download it. Again, there's more variations uh, that you can explore. So last time it gave me something like this. You can see that these are a bit cooler. So for example, this one is totally usable. Okay, let's generate one more image. So let's go and type in basketball player with ice hands dunking a turtle by Van Gogh. Let's see what it gives me this time. Sometimes it gets quite abstract. So I'm just curious because every time you might get a bit different results. <laughs> so you can see like this is really like almost artsy stuff. Like what's going on here? There's a huge hand. There's no turtle here. The net is kind of, I don't know. It's just really cool stuff that you can generate with this one. So if you're looking for new ideas for your, uh, for your blog or for your artwork, I, I think this can, <laughs> can really be really cool stuff because this is just, out of this world, I think. One thing I noticed with this tool is that it's not very good with actual faces. Like if you want realistic faces, that's where it's not yet there. So if I look for, for example, man cleaning shed with his dog and a robot helper. So if I type that in, let's see what it does. 
you can see that the faces are kind of weird. So if I click on this, like, what's going on? Even the dog, they're just weird. This, all of this just looks weird. The robot, okay, I can live with that. I think that's kind of cool. But the rest, just... Pfft. Because if you see at the background, that looks quite realistic. There's like a robot or is that a trash can? I'm not even sure, but, <laughs> but the dog and the human. In this case, it has kind of some sort of a mask, so it maybe can get away with it, but it's just weird. Sometimes it just can't generate that. So you see, it's just not there yet. So I've done also searches for humans like this. So a man smiling, I got this kind of result. You can see that maybe two of these are usable. So this one totally looks like a real person, although it's AI generated. So, um, but this one looks a bit weird. His eye maybe, this one, the, I don't know. They're sometimes a bit iffy. It's mostly the eyes. Everything else looks kind of okay, but the eyes, I'm not sure. Something is just not there. It doesn't look real. But you can uh, try it out and see if you like it. You can also use this tool to remove people or objects from your images. So for example, if there's some stranger in your image, you can just remove that. For example, I was able to remove all of these people from here and even add a hat to my head and go bald. All of this is possible in this tool and I'll show you how to do it in this uh, tutorial right here, somewhere here, it should show up. So see you there. Do I have something in my nose? Sometimes my hair, nose hair wants to be a mustache, but no, I don't think that's the case right now.